Well, hello there. This is Deidre again for Style by Deidre's Trendy Tuesday Tip of the Week. And a lot of you might be headed out to graduations. It's that time of year, whether you're going to an actual graduation ceremony or just hitting up a grad party for your loved ones. I'm here with your outfit inspirations to help you feel ready. So that way you don't outshine the grad, but you still feel like you love your outfit and you can enjoy the party and the festivities. So my first outfit inspiration is to think of some sort of dress, usually like a printed dress, kind of like the one I'm wearing, or even like a boho inspired dress, whatever it is, but dress it up with layers. So I grabbed this one. It's actually more of a casual dress, but with you, when you add this leather jacket, it instantly dresses it up a little bit. And that way too, you can go from anything from say inside, going from a chilly air conditioned, you know, big room for the actual graduation ceremony, or outside, lose the jacket if it's warm out, but then you can layer back up again into the evening as the festivities continue. If a leather jacket is a little too warm for where you're at, why not try a lighter, lighter, light, lighter layer? Let's say that five times fast. Lighter layer, lighter layer, lighter layer over your dress instead. That way you can still layer up, not feel too hot, and kind of come and go as you please with that outfit. Now you could even do a lightweight layer like a cardigan or even like a lightweight blazer, maybe out of a linen material or something that's gonna be a little bit more breathable for this changing season. All right, my next outfit inspiration is for maybe those of you that don't wanna wear a dress, but you still wanna feel polished and easy breezy, why not try something with a wide leg, like a wide leg pant? So you could do a wide leg pant, especially in a cropped length, so that way, number one, your ankles are nice and, and open and breezy, but two, you don't have to worry about what height of shoe you're wearing. You can wear a flat, you can wear a heel, and no matter what, you don't have to mess with alterations. So I just grabbed a simple pair of wide leg pants. These are actually from ASOS. I got them a couple summers ago. Super great place to find affordable, yet fun and chic fashion. So ASOS, A-S-O-S.com. And then you can easily add it with just a, a printed top or even like a lightweight blazer to dress it up a little bit. So that's kind of one option. Or my other idea with a wide leg pant is maybe try a wide leg jumpsuit. So this one is actually, it's a one shoulder. I have it hanging here, but it's a one shoulder. It's got a little bow on this top, but the nice thing about it with the wide legs, it makes it super airy and lightweight so you don't get too hot. And again, this is a piece you could layer up. You could try a jacket over it, even a sweater. You could do lots of different things. Even if it's a little bit chillier, you could even add like a t-shirt or something underneath the wide leg jumpsuit to make it super wearable. The next outfit inspiration, again, kind of leading into the pants option if you're not a skirt or a dress fan, why not find a pair of printed kind of dress pants. So I grabbed these ones, they're from Banana Republic, again, a couple years ago. I actually found them in the outlet Banana Republic over in my area, it's called North Bend, but they were even cheaper then. And added a linen blazer, so that way you can layer up, still look polished and chic without adding a ton of bulk or heaviness to your outfit so you can still feel breathable, lightweight. Now keep in mind, a lot of people tend to think that linen is one of those fabrics that can look really sharp it's always gonna have a little bit of a wrinkle to it. So just keep that in mind. If you're really particular about your fabrics having any sort of wrinkle, linen is not gonna be your friend, but if you're okay with a little bit of that softness to the fabric, linen is, linen is a fantastic fabric for spring and summer. My next outfit inspiration is a wrap front dress. Now this one does have a great three quarter length sleeve if you're worried about maybe showing your arms if not, then maybe find something with sleeveless or even like a cap sleeve. This one has a little bit of a cap sleeve to it, to the wrap front as well. Um, but wrap front dresses, they're the little secret of every woman who looks fantastic all the time. A wrap dress looks great on every single figure, no matter what shape you are, no matter what size you are. They are kind of the little back black dress of different shapes but find one that speaks to your personality. So there's solid color wrap dresses, there's prints, there's things with ruffles, long, like a maxi length to even shorter and above the knee. Find one that speaks to your personality. 
I've had this one for years. Actually, back when I used to be a teacher, it was one of those great pieces I could wear in different ways. I even wore a little camisole underneath just to make sure that the, the lady bits were covered up for my students. But a wrap dress will be your workhorse in your closet. All right, now that you have your outfit figured out, now let's talk about what shoes you're gonna wear. You might be going inside for an indoor ceremony or it could be outdoors on say a football field or going to the barbecue afterwards. Nobody wants to be sinking their heels into the grass, am I right? <laughs> so that's when maybe a flat pair of shoes comes in handy. These ones are nice because they have a little peep toe so you don't feel like you're too stuffy for the, the warmer months. And they're nice because they have a tiny bit of a wedge. Makes me feel a little bit better as a short person. Or no wait, height challenged, not short. <laughs> or a wedge is always a great option for something like this. That way you're comfortable, you can feel like you're still wearing a heel, and these are really wearable all day, especially the flat form kind of wedges are really coming back where it's got more of a platform or even like a full wide base platform as well. Great for all of your summer events. I even found these ones at like DSW on sale. They're by a brand called Unissa and they're kind of a dupe for the really popular shoes by Chloe right now, which are upwards of like $300. So little snag right there. And I think I found them for under $20 at DSW. Or my next option for not sinking into the grass or the, the potential mud or even gravel as you're walking to and from events is a block heel. We've kind of seen block heels the last couple summers be really strong. They're still gonna be full force this spring and summer as well. And the block heels are great because they're usually a little bit shorter in, in height, but you can find them high as well. And they're not gonna sink into the dirt, sand or gravel or even the grass. You can find them in everything from like sandals to a mule shape, a slide on, whatever you're comfortable with. But make sure that your, your shoes are something you can last all day in because who knows, you might be going from the ceremony to the graduation party and partying into the night as you celebrate your loved one's success. I hope that helps you come up with an outfit for your graduation party that you're attending. If you have a question on an upcoming Trendy Tuesday that you want answered, be sure to leave it in the comments below and I could feature your question on an upcoming episode. Mwah! Hey loves, if you liked today's video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to check me out on Facebook and Instagram at Style by Deidre.